Hey guys, welcome back. So you might be wondering why I'm doing a second review here of this guy. The Hordak variant color filmation style figure by Tweederhead. Well, this is because first of all I want to give a shout out to you Tweederhead and especially Chad from Tweederhead. Um, I've got issues with my first Hordak that came in. Basically one of the hands the um, left hand didn't fit into the arm and so I've contacted customer service. Um, to be honest, back in March, so it took quite a while until this got resolved, but then Chad um, once at a time then took care of me and basically they exchanged the whole statue and sent me a new copy. Which is this one here and this is perfect first of all. Second, I really like um, that kind of attention because if you send a replacement part um, when something is broken then sometimes that replacement part arrives either broken or doesn't fit um, because the pieces of a statue are usually um, meant to go with that specific copy and so you sometimes have more problems with the replacement parts than with the original part, to be honest. Um, so anyway, um, they've sent me a new statue and I'm super happy. And that's one thing that I wanted to point out. So um, take your time with the customer service. If something goes wrong, then contact Chad directly and he will take definitely care of you. And second, I want to test my new microphone that I bought for doing this video is now moving forward. Um, so this is kind of a cheap little, um, I don't know whether it's Bluetooth or some kind of radio wave um, connection. Anyway, um, it's a small piece, pretty cheap, $35 or so. Um, but I'm now connected here with the microphone here on my shirt. And I hope the sound is better than with just the iPhone, which always um, was a bit um, yeah, kind of muted down um, compared to other videos that I've seen on or that I usually watch on YouTube. So I hope this is better. Um, but without boring you anymore, um, let's take a quick look at this figure. It's another video review, of course, on the channel um, of this guy here. Um, so I will do this really quickly. Um, still love this figure. So, so cool. Um, the reds are more vibrant um, than with the original version. And um, that Horde logo here is amazing. Also like the design here, kind of like a Castle Grayskull vibe to it with the um, rocks in green, but also a Horde layer here with the more technical mechanical kind of surface. Um, and Horde looks fantastic. Super nice execution here by Tweederhead. Love the design and those formation colors with that cannon hand and that um, head sculpt here, which also was the exclusive for the other version, um, but which of course fits this blue version much better than the gray and black one. Um, it's just awesome. Really love it. Shoulder pads are fantastic. Check out the detail here in the back. If you do not put the cape on, you can see all that, which is also a nice option. So I will have this one here without the cape, the other one with the cape. Cannon arm looks amazing. So overall, really, really happy with that figure. And I'm glad that I have a perfect copy now in my collection. Thanks again, chat, Twitter head. Um, I hope you liked this little review and I hope the audio is better now. And um, please let me know in the comment section down below whether you think this is an improvement over my previous videos. I hope so. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon.